our phone is using a 5.1 inch uh, CD uh, uh, mount and you can see that the uh, bezel is really thin. It's about uh, 2.9 mm. So, you know, you can make it more, you know, utilize the whole whole size of the um, of the smartphone to, to, to be the monitor. So you can see that it's really thin. And this is the antenna area, which we have our patent here. Uh, for using this antenna, the reception will be more much better, and the radiation is uh, much lesser, much less. Sorry, uh, it's about you know uh, two zero point two mW per gram, which is uh, far lower than the Europe standard. So, and the reception we, we are we, for this, you know, we are using double antenna, so uh, the reception is you know uh, greater than the other smartphone. You know, you can see that really thin. And this is the uh, 8 megapixel uh, Sony camera, 6 uh, megapixel camera. So you see the camera, you can see that figures uh, for the smartphone, uh, it, uh, for the indoor camera, they can, you know, they can capture a lot of uh, light uh, in the indoor, but for our smartphone, you can see that it's really bright in indoor. Because we, uh, the aperture is really large, we are using the 2.0 aperture, so you, you know, we capture a lot of light uh, for our camera. Yes. Another thing is uh, about our, you know, our FlyMe system, because this is our own, uh, our own uh, operation system, which is based on Android. So what we want to do is we enhance and we just want to make the Android system more user-friendly. And I can show you how we do this. Okay, so if you if we want to uh, wake up the uh, smartphone, we slide it up, you wake up. So if you want to turn it into sleep mode, you just hold it and it's sleep. Okay, I just wake it up again. Okay, you see there is a lot of tasks we have opened uh, before. So if we want to kill the tasks one by one, you can pull, uh, pull it up. If you want to kill all tasks, just put it down. And we add a lot of shortcuts here to, you know, make it more user friendly. You can add your camera in the shortcut and you can adjust the brightness here. Oops, sorry. Yeah, you can adjust the brightness here. Another thing we, we have uh, made for the adjustment is, you see you can select the Wi-Fi here. Because in the uh, normal Android system, if you, you know, if you want to Select the Wi-Fi, especially for you know, maybe for the today show. There is a lot of uh, Wi-Fi spot here. Maybe uh, CES has our official Wi-Fi spot. Lenovo has a Wi-Fi spot. So in the normal Android system, you need to go to setting and go to the uh, Wi-Fi point to select the Wi-Fi. But for our smartphone, you can simply select the Wi-Fi spot here, make it more user convenient. And then another thing we have uh, enhanced is about the. Um, you know, to, to fix the problem about the big screen smartphone. Now, you know, for the hand size limitation, or especially for the woman or for the uh, Asian, sometimes for the large, large, uh, large screen smartphone, they, they cannot touch the icon on the top. Maybe like this, you, can, you can't touch the icon on the top. So we have um, enhanced it is the pull and hold. We pull and hold it. The screen is holding. So, I can touch the icon suppose on the top right now. And another thing we have enhanced is, for the Android, Android system, if you uh, want to select multi-document, you need to press it one by one. And for our primary system, if you want to select, sorry, if you want to select more than one file, like, sorry, you just hold it down. And you select all files. And if you want to unselect, slide up. It's really convenient. And another thing we want to, you know, uh, utilize the whole screen size is the back button. Uh, because you can see that it's only a home button uh, on our smartphone. And, you know, we merge the back button with the home button. If you want to press the home button, uh, back button, you just slide up. You can see the uh, blue light. 
Th this means we, we, we have, you know, function the uh, back button function already. And another thing we, we have, you know, we have done to utilize the home screen is in the horizontal mode, you see the, uh, you see the bar here. If you slide, slide it down, the bar is gone. And you can see there is a light line here. This line is behind our back button key as well. You press it, and it go back. And for, for you know, for the uh, Android, uh, Android smartphone, normal Android smartphone, usually they have a back button and the preference key here. But we just want to utilize our, home, uh, our the whole of the screen, the preference key we hide it here, and the back screen, uh, the back button we hide it here. So we just want to utilize the whole screen for a better, you know, user experience for this. Another thing we did, you know, for for privacy or for for the uh, for security uh, reason, we have a visitor mode. You will see that. You need password to enter it. So if you have some, you know, uh, private or you have some, you know, secret, don't want uh, the visitor to use your phone, you can go to the visitor mode. And some function or some, you can see this is the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the 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 the, 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 uh, the home screen. Some icon is gone because I think that this icon is some email or some. Uh, privacy that I don't want our visitor to go through. So for the visit, visitor mode, the icon is hidden. So if I unlock it with my password, all the apps has go, has go back.